Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anita Louise. Today I'm going to show you how I made these really pretty little peppermint pot holders. Perfect for the holidays. And this is a really quick, easy, fast project to put together. So you can actually make them as gifts also, and it'd be a really fun, fast little gift for your friends. I made these using the same sparkle yarn that I've been using for a lot of my holiday projects, the Red Heart with Love Metallic. Gave them a pretty little sparkly look. And I used a size eye hook. I also made a couple of these um, in the cotton. Now, if you're going to make your pot holders more practical, like you want to actually take hot stuff out of the oven with them, then you'll want to use a cotton because the acrylic will probably it won't exactly melt exactly, but it will get like burn marks in it if something too hot touches it. So your ones with the acrylic yarn will be more of just a decorative kind of look. Still pretty practical. I mean, you could put somewhat hot pots and pans on them, but they really will just be pretty to hang in your kitchen or to add to your tablescape too. I put them on my table to put like warm um, pans and warm things that come out of the oven to put them on the table. I put them on top of these pot holders, but I don't use these to like grab hot things out of the oven. So for that, you'll want to use more of a cotton. The only thing is the cotton doesn't come in quite as vibrant of colors. So in case you're wondering, Anita, why wouldn't you just make all of your pot holders really practical? Well, I don't know. The colors just aren't as vibrant in this. See what I mean? But it's still really pretty. So either way, however you choose to make them, if you want to make them in cotton, I used the Scrubby Smoothie Red Heart, and when I used this, I actually dropped it down to a size H hook. So even though it does call for an I hook, so I don't know, but my stitches were like a little too loose when I used the I hook, so I dropped down to an H, so see if that works for you too. I'll have to experiment a little to see what's just right for you. So pick your yarn, pick your hook, and stay tuned, we're gonna make these pot holders together. So I'm going to start with a magic circle. I'm just gonna wrap this around. And once we've got our magic circle, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. This is going to count as our first double crochet. So I'm going to put 11 more double crochets in this magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, Counting our first chain three as a double crochet, that means we have 12 double crochets in our magic circle. So go ahead and pull your magic circle closed. Pull, 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 and there we go. And now we're going to slip stitch in the top of our chain three to close up our little circle of double crochets. So just do a little slip stitch right there. Now we are ready to start working on row two. So we're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And now working in that same space that we did our little slip stitch to connect, we are going to do a double crochet with a color change. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that same space, and draw up a loop. 
Now we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to yarn over again, but we're going to use our other color. So grab our red, and you're just going to lay that red yarn over your hook and just draw it on through. And that is all. So you just did a double crochet with a color change. Now we're going to be using our red yarn. So we're going to be crocheting over this one and this one. So you're going to use the tail end of the red and the white since we're not like using it right now. We're gonna hold it down kind of by the tops of our double crochets under here so that we can just crochet right over them. So yarn over with our red and working in our next double crochet, we're going to do a full double crochet with red. There we go. And now we're going to do that double crochet with a color change again. So yarn over, insert in that same double crochet, drop a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, but now we're going to yarn over with our white. So yarn over, draw through the two loops. So we're going to complete that all the way around. And so basically in each stitch, we're going to have two double crochets. One is going to be completely in the one color, and then the second one is going to be a double crochet with a color change. All right, and on our last one, we'll do our last double crochet with a color change, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first chain three. To close up our circle, there we go. Now we are ready to start on round three. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets, but the second one is going to have a color change. So, and while we are working with these two different colors of yarn, we want to make sure that we are crocheting on, like over the one that we're not using to bring it along our work with us. That'll just make it look a little cleaner and neater so that we don't have like yarn um, the long strings of yarn going from color to color. If you crochet on top of it, you don't see that. Now for this project, it doesn't matter so much because it's a pot holder and we're going to have two sides and your yarn would be on the inside, but it still makes it look a little cleaner and neater. And if you were doing um, another one of my projects like the peppermint coasters, you wouldn't want to flip it over and see all the yarn, the long yarns going along it. So just a little, a little, um, a little extra tip. So in this next stitch, like I said, we will be doing our double crochet and then double crochet with a color change. And you can see I am bringing that yarn along and just stitching right over top of it so that um, it can come along with me without being seen. Next stitch we're going to be doing in the next color rather, sorry guys, so we just did a double crochet and then double crochet with a color change. So we're using our new color, yarn over. We're gonna do a double crochet in that next double crochet. And then in the next one, we're going to do two double crochets. The second one will have a color change. All right, and then in the next one, double crochet and then in the next stitch two double crochets the second one will have a color change so for this row then we are doing three crochets in every color so 
So three double crochets in each color. The first one goes into that color. It's just a regular double crochet. The second and third go into the next stitch. One is regular. And one has a color change. And there you go. And you're just going to continue that around doing a double crochet and then two double crochets in the next stitch all the way around. Just remembering to make that second one a double crochet with a color change. And so we're going to do two double crochets in this last stitch and the last one is going to be with a color change. Somehow I have some metallic dragging on the back of my hook. Hmm. I'm just going to slip that out of there and then we'll crochet on it when I go around next time. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're going to slip stitch in the top of our chain three right here. There we go, and we are ready to start round four. So round four, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Counts as a double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. The second one will have a color change. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So in the next one, double crochet. In the next one, double crochet. The next one gets two double crochets. The second one gets a color change. There we go. Double crochet. Double, double crochet, two double crochets, last one with a color change. On our last candy stripe, we've got a double crochet, the next double crochet, and then our two double crochets, and the last one with our color change to white. Uh oh, there we go. Now we're going to slip stitch on the top of that chain three. There we go. And now we are on our fifth round. One, two, three, four. All right, so <clears throat> this round is pretty much just like the last round. We're going to chain three. In the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do another double crochet. Remember to carry your yarn along with you so you can stitch over the top of it. Another double crochet in the next stitch, and then another double crochet in that same stitch. This one gets a color change. There we go. Okay, so we do 
double crochet in the next, double crochet in the one after that, double crochet in the one after that, and then two in this one, one gets a color change. So this is the fifth round, and you will have five stitches in each color. The last one, the fifth one getting a color change. So there's two, three, all right, this fourth stitch gets two in it, and the second one is a color change stitch. There we go. All right, double crochet in our next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then two in the next stitch. Second one is a color change. And there we go. So one. All right, and when we're on our last stitch, we've got two double crochets in this stitch. The second one is getting a color change. There we go. We're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain three. There we go. And now we are on round six. This is our last row of our little pot holder. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. In the next stitch we're going to do double crochet. Remember to catch that yarn so we can crochet on top of it. Next one, double crochet. Next one, double crochet. Then this one gets two double crochets. The second one gets a color change. So we'll be doing one, two, three, four double crochets, and then two double crochets in the fifth one, with that last one getting a color change. So here's one, and two, and three, and four, and this fifth one gets two, Second one gets a color change. So we are going to repeat that all the way around our sixth row until we get to the other side. So we've got one, two, three, four. That fifth stitch gets two double crochets with a color change on the second one. So just continue on and I'll see you around the other side. Alright, and when we're on our last bit of red peppermint stripe, we're going to do our double crochet, our double crochet, Ooh, our third double crochet, Ooh, our fourth double crochet, and then our fifth one. In that same stitch, we get a sixth one with a color change. 
and now we're going to slip stitch in the top of our chain three. And that is all. Now, we can flip that over and go ahead and snip our yarn. Pull that through. Now, we're going to repeat this little process so that we have two sides. There we go. So repeat that little process. And then we're going to flip that over and put them back to back because we are going to stitch them together. So we are going to grab our green yarn because that is what we are using to stitch our pot holder together. Get rid of the red and white now. We're going to be working in back loops only. So let's find a little place where we can match up a red to a red. And I'm going to put my hook into a back loop. And then into the back loop of the next one. And then I'm just going to grab my green yarn and pull it on through. Not all the way though, I'm just drawing up a little loop. And I'm going to chain one and then do a single crochet. And I'm going to catch that tail yarn and crochet over it so that I can cover it up as I go. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the next stitch and into the back loops of those same two of the next two stitches and do a little single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. So grab the back loop of the next two stitches and single crochet. There we go. And this will put a pretty little green border around our entire peppermint pot holder. Right, and as we are nearing the end, we're going to continue our single crochets all the way until the very last stitches. So we single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch into the top of this one. But one last thing, we're going to create a little loop on the top just in case you want to hang your super cute little peppermint pot holder up in your kitchen to decorate. So we're going to chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we're going to just slip stitch back into the top of this, um, the stitch that we just slip stitched into. So slip stitch into that same space. Insert your hook and slip stitch. And that is it. Now we can pull our hook out, snip our yarn. Going to pull this through. Go ahead and weave in your end however you like to weave in your ends. And our pot holder is finished. It is so cute. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I hope you found that tutorial helpful and fun and pretty fast, right? It's kind of a quick little project to put together. So I hope you had fun making the pot holders in your acrylic yarns or your cotton, either one. These are such a pretty little gift to give and such a pretty way to just decorate your home for the holidays. So thanks so much for joining me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bye.